Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. My name is Laszlo, you are watching Dantiara Bologs channel and in this video I will talk about the most in-demand creative jobs of 2021, as well as the near future. I want to give you some advice on which one should you pick and what to focus on in the ever-growing world of the creative industries according to your specific skills and interests. We will speculate on what different professions could look like in 5 or 10 years time from now on and in the meantime I also want to tell you a little bit about my best creative career decisions and opinions which guided me through my studies and got me where I am today right now. Interested? Let's jump in! Okay, in order to really attempt to get a grasp on the creative industries as a possible career path, first and foremost you have to come to terms with its ever-growing, ever-changing nature. As time goes on, different job roles come and go, and you have to get comfortable with this idea that you can never really afford to stop learning and expanding your skill set. New ideas and technologies are being invented, created, tested and prototyped, probably right now as we speak. And the people who come out as winners of this sort of game are usually the ones who are really good at predicting what's gonna happen. Oftentimes what happens is different creative professions and disciplines merge together and on a 1 plus 1 equals 3 principle they create something new or the demand for something new in the market. A little bit about me, I have done a digital illustration degree, then I did a master's degree in creative advertising. And after I finished my studies, almost accidentally, somehow I became a graphic designer focusing on branding and logo design, which was yet another creative part which sort of merged my two paths of chosen studies and interests. I'm telling you all this because I think it illustrates my point perfectly that you sometimes you have to choose on a couple different hats until you find one that fits you perfectly. Obviously you might ask yourself, how am I supposed to know what the next best thing is going to be? Well, I do have a theory for that. The most valuable currency of the 21st century is not the dollar, it's not the euro. The only currency that really matters is your attention. I don't think it's a coincidence that in English we say we pay our attention to something. It's not free, it costs your time. And where I'm getting at with all of this is what holds attention better than anything these days? Great high quality digital content. Let's just say for argument's sake that the biggest, most sought after creative job of the 21st century is to become a creative content creator. We are all consuming tremendous amount of digital data in the form of YouTube videos, podcasts, TV shows, movies, scrolling through social media and so on and so on and so on. The point is whoever gets the content game right is guaranteed to be successful. Even if major changes happen to the current online scope, if YouTube or Instagram went bankrupt tomorrow, something else would come in and replace them. Because let's be honest, digital content consuming has become way more than a past time. It's an unstoppable force, it's a way of life even. Even if you or the company you want to work for is selling something very real, a physical product or service, the given brand's online presence can make or break the whole business. Now naturally, since we are on YouTube, I would encourage every single one of you to become video content creators, because it is quite simply forcing you to develop maybe not full-on skill sets, but at least a basic sense of understanding of all the different job roles that I'm about to talk to you about. If you have a think to yourself, what makes good content? All the little elements and bits that come together to make a piece of digital media content extraordinary. That's exactly what is creating a different range of jobs and disciplines which you should have a think about as possible curry pets. I have came up with a list of jobs and disciplines that I believe will be staying with us for a while. First of all, I believe that there is always going to be a need for photographers and videographers who create and edit raw footage to a high professional level. You might think photographer services are low in demand, but I beg to differ. Just because everyone carries a good enough camera in their pockets these days, that doesn't make them qualified. Most people have no idea how to properly use a camera. They might know what megapixels are, but they have no clue about shutter speed, ISO settings, what different lenses are there. Now, if you combine all that knowledge with emerging technologies, you are even more likely to get established. Drone videography is on the rise, shooting with 360 degree cameras is an opening, shooting in 8K is an opening. Once you get into this inventive, entrepreneurial mindset, you will get into the habit of seeing opportunities where most people can't. 
Now it is true to some extent that creating two-dimensional flat imagery is not that impressive anymore, but crafting new, immersive, exciting experiences by using and combining all the established old-school methods like graphic design and photography definitely is. UI and UX designers are on the rise whose job is quite simply to make sure we are getting the best content possible whenever we go online. Immersive websites, new exciting ways of showing content and data will always be needed, quite simply because our tastes and expectations in terms of user experience changes all the time. Again, as a freelancer, you might not see the traditional opening in this tricky moment in time of the economy. But have you thought about, I don't know, designing backgrounds for Zoom calls, for example? I didn't think so. The world of user experience could be good if you are very excited about the next best thing, but if you are quite comfortable with where we are at the moment in the online scope and have a genuine genuine passion for social media, you could establish yourself as a social media manager. This is a bit of a jack-of-all-trades kind of job in which you would do many different things involving research, visual editing and copywriting. There's a lot of work to be done here. Trust me, I manage our business page on Instagram and I kinda wish I could just outsource it, because it's a lot of work. By the way, within this topic I also want to state that I think good writing skills will always be needed, as it's something that can never really be automated. Languages and the way we speak them are constantly evolving, and oftentimes it's not a logical, predictable evolution. Words and phrases come and go, and things like, you know, an up-to-date current sense of humor, or demonstrating actual human empathy with a piece of writing, automated algorithms couldn't write and predict any of that. Another very handy skill that you could acquire is animation and motion graphics. This is a very high-in-demand skill in the world of content creation, for the simple reason that it's actually really hard to do well. Making a logo or a title sequence move will automatically elevate any content to a higher level, and clients are well aware of that. A cool thing about animation is that the basic principles have not really changed since the 50s, since the old school Disney movies, and I think to this day it's one of those crafty jobs which cannot really be tackled with a DIY approach. Clients cannot make convincing animations themselves, they do need someone who knows what they are doing. To up your animation skills and focus on all this crazy new tech around us, like the use of AR or virtual reality, combining that with a bit of 3D design. Brands oftentimes aren't content with still imagery and videos anymore. They want their own little virtual mascot or their Instagram filter. And that's just the beginning. This field will just grow and grow and grow as technology develops to a fertile level. I see 3D renders everywhere these days. And not just in the obvious industries like interior design and architecture. I see a lot of 3D rendered digital illustration works as well, which makes me feel incredibly insecure about my ancient looking two-dimensional digital illustrations. And last but not least, I feel like I definitely have to mention audio and sound design. Brands and video creators need custom sounds and music all the time, not to mention the importance of good audio quality in the first place. Podcasting is on the rise, voice activated virtual assistants are basically commonplace, and now apparently we have voice only social media networks as well. I have watched many YouTube videos about, well, how to make good YouTube videos, and one thing that our content creators keep mentioning is the importance of good quality audio. Many agree that it's actually more important than picture quality, so this is definitely an area which can only move upwards in the future. And as my last point, I want to address the elephant in the room before someone else does in the comment section. Yes, like many others, I do too fear the overglooming shadow of automation in the creative industries. In a world where people can make their own websites without any coding knowledge at all. Not to mention automated logo design software is a thing now, apparently. Yes, I would be lying if I said that all of this wasn't a valid concern. Template-based content is quite easy to pick out for now, when you put it next to professionally created creative work. But who's to say that all the technology isn't gonna get better in like 5 or 10 years time from now on? Well, I got two real life examples for you, which will hopefully put your minds at ease in this area. First, the makers of Toy Story 4 from 2019 have built a set of virtual cameras, which were based on real life physical cameras because they felt like the virtual cameras which you can use in CG animation provided footage which looked, for a lack of a better word, it looked too perfect. If you watch that movie, there are scenes where parts of the picture is consciously out of focus, or the footage is a little bit shaky. To imitate the feeling of a cameraman, an actual human being, making a mistake on the set, all of this is deliberately there to create a handmade effect. 
Secondly, Sony Pictures Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse has relied on digital illustrators to recreate the gritty, imperfect nature of the original old-school comic books for the movie's production design. The movie's visual effects supervisor said, and I quote this, Computers do everything correctly and you have the right perspective and geometry all the time. What's interesting about art is all the imperfections that go hand in hand with a human creating things. Both of these movies are Academy Award winning movies. I'll leave you with that to chew on. Ok, I hope this video provided some excitement and inspiration for the future of creative jobs. Again, my basic advice and message would be to jump head on deep, way out of your comfort zone and build something big, you know, make a YouTube video, record a podcast, build a very complicated animation, find a big project that combines a couple different job roles, because you will never know which one will actually grow on you. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a big like, because that really does support our channel and we do appreciate that a great deal. Also, join our little design tribe if you enjoy this sort of content. We make videos about everything, graphic design, illustration, interior design, architecture, art related. Take care guys and I'll see you this time next week. Bye!